Okay, welcome to my channel. We are going to talk about CapCut. So CapCut is an amazing editing software application by the same people that make TikTok. Um, so you just go to the App Store and you download CapCut and it's completely free. Um, it is made by a China, so it could be they could be stealing all our data, but that's the, the price you pay, I guess. I use CapCut instead of making, well, I use it for a video like this, like this, I will edit in CapCut, but I'll also re-edit videos. So it's called repurposing. So you take it from the internet and then you recut it. So you might want to take a three hour lecture and turn it into a 10 minute video. So anyway, this is what I've done here. And because I've been using LumaFusion for a while, I did the rough cut in LumaFusion. So what I'm going to do now is just export it. Go to CapCut. Press plus new project. And then it will open up your library, your videos. I haven't worked out a way where you can make albums out of this. So it's just in the order in which you've recorded them. So anyway, go to find the video that you want to use, add, press add, and then it will come up into the timeline. And there it is. Now the coolest thing about CapCut is the text auto captions. So they will take the audio and automatically turn it into captions, which is really cool. So you just press text and then auto captions and then start. And then it will, yeah, like I said, when I first started doing this, you had to go through me and correct all the mistakes because it was a bit not great. It's gotten way better. So there's still going to be like, it depends on how clear the narration is. There'll still be a couple of errors, but mostly it's pretty impressive actually. So that takes a little while to do, depending on the length of the video. Um, and because what I use CapCut for is mainly the texts and they have all these really cool stickers and all these amazing transitions. They have all these amazing sound effects as well. I haven't even really explored it that much. I'm pretty new to CapCut. I've been using it maybe a year, but more, I use LumaFusion more. I just use CapCut to put the titles and the transitions in. Anyway, so that's done. So then when it's done, it'll appear underneath. And then you need to, because it, it's gonna be all in lowercase. So what I do is click it, press style, and then I change the font. And then I find a font that is in all capitals. So then I don't have to worry about changing the capitals. It's just all gonna be in caps. Then you don't have to worry about punctuation and all of that. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Gibbony. I feel like they're adding fonts all the time as well. What's this? The always materials, no, it's not in capitals. What's Prata? No. Oh, do we like that? Hmm, let's go that. It's called Odachi. It's kind of dramatic. Um, and then I press style spacing. I saw this guy do this on a video and he spaces the things because he says it's more cinematic. And I'm like, all right, if you say so. And then um, I make it bold. Just cause like, isn't it better to be bigger? And then, should we add a little shadow? Why not? Move the shadow a little bit further away. Oh, yes. Uh, and then, I like to put it in the middle. Because the YouTube generated text will be at the bottom anyway, if they want to. So, anyway. 
the thing that's really stupid about CapCut is you can't batch edit the transitions. Please, if there's a way to do this, please let me know in the comments. Because I've Googled it, I've tried it, I can't find a way to do it. The only way to do it is to manually click on every single thing, which is super annoying. So I tend to not even worry about transitions at this stage until they work it out. If you're from CapCut, get it together. Sort your shit out. I know it's free, but it, are we asking for too much? Um, so yeah, the transitions, the way you do transitions is you click on the clip. <clears throat> this is all just one clip because I've just imported it. And then you press, where is it? Effects. And then you press video effects. There's so many video effects. And they're so cool. And it's, they keep adding to them all the time. This mirror three layers one is new. One of my favorites is rolling film. I like black and white film. Um, I like to actually press retro and all the retro ones I just love. Including this cool thing that I always start my videos with TV on. And then it just clicks on. The, the always materials. materials. Humans have all the always materials. Humans have always I loved gold. Use so much text its resistance to corrosion time. has made it useful to jewelers since the Don't time of like, the first pharaoh. It should be one word at a time, like a lyric video. They actually have text lyrics to text, but I'm not sure what the difference is at this point. Um, so I have worked out a way to do it. When am I going to do it? No, I'm tired, it's late. I just want to crank this one out, you know, like an hour. So I'm not going to bother. But what you can do is basically copy it and then you cut it up so that it, so that it, they come up one at a time. But let's not worry about that. Let's just do, add transitions and check the text. The always materials. Humans have always loved gold. Its resistance to corrosion The always materials. Humans have always like loved gold. Take its resistance to corrosion has made it useful it says, to jewelers since the made it useful to jewelers. It's too wordy, so I just delete has made it. And then it's just useful to jewelers comes up. You always materials. Humans have I'm just gonna delete humans have and just have always loved gold. Do you know what I mean? Because you can only read so much on the screen. So I'm just gonna have a little bit. I'm even gonna take away its. So it just says resistance to corrosion. Corrosion has made it useful to jewelers since the time of the first pharaohs. Corrosion has made it useful to jewelers since the time of the first pharaohs. Pharaohs. This association with wealth, combined with its persistent shininess, has made it a perennial favorite as a pharaohs. This association Whenever with wealth, combined with its line, persistent shininess, it. has made it a perennial favorite as a I like just the one line, that's it. As a store of value in backer of currencies, right? See, here's a mistake. And backer. As a store of value in backer of currencies, right? So I'm going to change that so that people watching can, because if he couldn't hear it or she, whoever computer couldn't understand it then some people are probably not going to understand it so this will just help them as a story of favorite as a store of value in backer currencies right up to the modern age until the world wars and the rise of the u.s perennial favorite as a store of value in backer of currencies right up to the modern age until the world wars and the rise of the u.s or something and it's just messy i just saw it dollar gold was what most in addition you know you don't want it to get in the way of the Images. Held to back their economic. Held to back their economic. Economic systems. And even in the age of US dollars. Economic systems. And even in the age of US dollars. Supremacy. Gold typically ranks third or fourth in most countries. Supremacy. Gold typically ranks third or fourth in most countries. Most countries' reserves. In the digital age, the combination of gold and unity. 
Commonwealth and most countries' reserves. In the digital age, the combination of golds and unity... That's pretty tedious. ...to corrosion and its high electrical conductivity creates niche applications in the semiconductor space. Industrial uses... To corrosion and its high electrical conductivity grants it niche applications oh, in the semiconductor space. Your... Industrial uses, government Animation. uses, high value, so check, high store value. value. Check. So instead of saying the word check on screen, I'm going to have a little tick come up. So you go to, s where is it? Stickers. There's millions of stickers. The problem is you can't search them. You can make them favorites. So... When you find the ones you want to use over and over, you can just make them your favorite. Uh, so I don't know where the ticks are. I just have to like go through them all. Super annoying. And it's connected to the net, so it's going to depend on how, um, how fast your internet connection is. Oh, sometimes I've been doing it and like, the internet's been slow because I'm in Bali and it's just not worth it. I bought. There's got to be a tick. So yeah, you just go into all these different folders. The internet here is not very fast either. What about that one? Stop. There it is! Oh my god, I found it! So remember that under the arrows, there's a tick. High value, tick. That's cool. And then I'm going to copy it because he does it three times. Copy and then just drag it to where he says check and then drag it. Oh, the second, the last time he says double check is very dramatic. Uh, where is it? Copy. Yeah, double check. Double check. Double check. Store value check. Pretty double check. High value, check. Store value, check. Pretty, double check. And yet, high value, check. Store value, See, check. He, Pretty, he bothered, double check. And yet, you could add so many animations. Um, but I think you just you need to find a style. The problem with the the animations is this, like some are really cartoony, some are really arty, so. I'm still trying to work out for each video what style I want to have. So I'm trying to be a bit minimal with the stickers. Check, store value, check, pretty, double check, and yet. The music, by the way, is from the check. YouTube Check, store library. value, check, pretty, yeah. double check, so and yet. So you go in the YouTube studio, there's a library, and it's called the YouTube studio library. Um, but that's only on your laptop. So you need to download it and then export it to your iPads or whatever you're using to edit on. Sorry, I'm burping, I'm drinking sparkling water. <clears throat> and yet, gold is absolutely stupid. See, I'd love like to have like gold a stupid, is absolutely have like a little funny stupid. face. You can also put GIFs in, I don't really know how yet, but... But if I did that every single time I had an idea, it would take me 14 days to edit this. And I want to edit it in, in, in an hour. So I'm not going to stop every time I... If I knew exactly where it was, and eventually when I've been doing this for long enough, I will know where it is, so then I will be able to do it. But at this point, I'm just going to crack on. Nope. There is next to no opportunity for... Stupid. There is next to no opportunity for... Oh, I forgot to show you this. <clears throat> because I'm just using it for the words, what I normally do is click on the f the, f the lot timeline, press filters. Is it filter or adjust? 
You can do both because then you press adjust. And then I make it a little darker just so that the words are a little bit more, pop out a little bit more. I like to add a bit of saturation. So it's a bit more colorful. And I add a little bit of a vignette. And there's this other cool thing you can do, mask. So you press mask and then you can make, give it this filmic look. So you add black lines at the top and the bottom. Very cool. Should we add more transitions? I don't know whether, um, the problem with the, <clears throat> depends on in your original thing, if you've used graphs or whatever, and you use those black lines, it's gonna, it's gonna cut stuff off. Um, I've got the TV turning on. Oh, you know what I was thinking of doing is adding a bit of sparkles. The always materials. Humans have always, always loved gold. Yeah, because it's so dramatic there. The always oh, materials. Humans have always loved gold. Effects. There's this section, it's called bling. And it adds these sparkles. Gold. It's resistant to corrosion. <laughs> made... Yes, it looks good. Always loved gold. gold. It's resistance to corrosion has made. Hello. Always loved gold. Come in. I'm making a video for YouTube. <laughs> That's why I'm talking. It's a how to edit. And yet, gold is absolutely stupid. There is next to no opportunity for useful metal. And yet, or gold is absolutely stupid. Gold there is next to no opportunity for useful metal. metallurgy or value add. You don't mix gold with a better material to get better conductivity because gold is already the best conductor. You don't mix it with a lesser material to degrade its conductivity because you can get the same result with cheaper substitutes. About the only time gold is you don't mix it with a lesser material to degrade its conductivity because you can get the same result with cheaper anyway, substitutes. So you the idea, About the only time gold is alloyed is to make it so your rings don't bend while you sure. wear them. There's no... text that takes up more than one line. And then basically just export it. Pretty easy. Uh, but the thing I, the thing that I think that's really cool is it's fun because the, all the animation all the animations are just drag and drop. You can just slide it in. And then you're done. Oh, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.